holidays coming up, I put together a gift tracker in Notion, which basically tracks the gifts that you're purchasing people, whether it's for Christmas, birthdays, or whatever. But the cool part about it is I added like a little process Kanban board so you can see when your gift has actually been purchased, when you actually need to send it to somebody, what stage it's in, as well as a calendar view. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to actually create the database itself in Notion. And then we're gonna walk through the different properties that I assigned each card in Notion or each gift, and then go over how to add a couple different views so it has a little bit more functionality. If you're new here, I'm Liz, I'm a data science manager at Intel, and I like to turn everything into data science. So I will track everything in Notion because it is my favorite note tape taking app of choice. So if you're into that and planning, organizing, all that stuff, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump into it. So I have Notion pulled up here. Now we're gonna be making a gift database. Now I will link a gift database below if you wanna skip the whole stage of trying to follow along and click all the right things that I'm going to walk you through. I only put them for like 10, 15 bucks on Gumroad. If you don't have Notion, I will also link um, the link to Notion as well below. You should get on installing that because it's like the best program ever. So I'm gonna get out of my projects and I'm gonna go and make a new database. So I like to just make them down in private. So click this plus button here, and then it will pull up with a completely blank sheet. Now, before you even type a name, we're gonna make this a board view, or no, we're gonna make it a table view. So I'm gonna make it a table, and then it says there's no data source, blah, blah. And this looks all kind of scary, but you're just gonna click new database, and then you'll name it here. So I will call this, um, I'm gonna make the template while I'm filming this. Um, gift tracker template and then you can add a little icon obviously I like to add a little present because that makes sense and then you can start making um, cards so let's call this like gift one and then we'll call this gift two now if you have people like a people database you can link it to the people database but um, we're not gonna do that just yet because some people don't have other databases to link things to so we're just gonna make it a multi-select but just keep that in mind so now that we have a couple gifts, we need to actually add properties. So if we open gift one and we just open it on the right hand side, I want to delete this because I want it from scratch. So the first property that I think I would want would probably be the price. So I'm just gonna call it price. The reason I'm not doing a number is because I can't use the little number symbol and it annoys me. So I'm gonna just call that 150. And then I wanna add um, a select because this will be the occasion. So I like to, let's see, how do I spell occasion? Hopefully, maybe it tells me wrong. I'm not the greatest at spelling, <laughs> but this will be like either it's a birthday and then press enter. And then you go in here and let's say it's um, a Christmas. Oh, it made it, made it red. <laughs> um, or it could be, I don't know, what, what do other people celebrate? Um, a promotion, I don't know. So you have a couple options, right? So I'm gonna say this is a Christmas gift. And then I like to add um, a select for the person. Now you could also just add a person if they're in Notion, but sometimes you don't really want them to know, obviously, because it's a gift. So let's go ahead and add that. And um, I will, let's just say I have a friend named Emily, that's my sister's name. And my brother's name is Jimmy, so we're gonna add him. And let's put mom on there for good measure. <laughs> so then you can say, okay, this, this is for Emily and we're gonna make her pink because she is a pink person. Uh, we'll make him green and mom could say yellow. So we're gonna add that. Now you also wanna think about like what other properties do you want? So I wanna add um, a date, right? So maybe um, I'm just gonna add date, enter, click to off to the right. My, birth, my um, sister's birthday, I think this is for Emily, yes. My sister's birthday is on the 4th, so I'm just gonna put November 4th, blah. And then now we have a date, occasion, person. Now you can reorder them by using this little dragger. So I'm gonna move Emily back up to the top. Let's say I want the occasion next. Date, I really don't care about price. And then you wanna think, okay, if I were to make this into a Kanban board, and I wanna know what stage am I in, have I purchased it, that kind of stuff, let's add a select and call this um, stage, press enter. And you wanna think about what stages your gift would be in. So you would say to buy is a stage. And then you say bought is another stage. And then you could say um, shipped. 
um, and done. Let's just say that. So we'll make this one red because you need to buy it. Um, bot is green because you bought it. Shipped, let's just make that blue. And then we can make done like brown or something. So now you can say, okay, you know what? I need to buy it or I bought it or whatever. I like to put the stage kind of up top, right? Or maybe like right after the price. And then this is your gift. These are your properties. This is important because then when we go to make different views, we can only make views once we have certain properties. I can't make a calendar view without having a date property. So it's very important that we think through what we want this thing to do. And then let's go over basically how to add views. Okay, so I went ahead and I filled out another gift. Now, this is great. I like the idea. You have a couple gifts. And how I would change this is I would be like, I got Emily some jewelry, right? Jewelry, how do I spell jewelry? And then let's say I got my brother um, a knife. So let's just say a knife or whatever. And you can add little icons. Okay, clearly I can't spell. That's great. Um, so if I add like some jewelry here and let's open this guy up and add a little knife icon. Okay, cool. Now we have some items and I like the table view. The table view is nice, but I kind of want to see a Kanban board to see what I need to do. It's more actionable. So we're gonna add this little plus button and I'm gonna change it to board. Now you have to make sure that it's gonna group by the, um, not by the occasion, <laughs> you want to change it. So if, you, if we look here, it says group by occasion. Click this and change it to um, stage. And that will be bought, done, to buy, all that stuff. And then you can exit out and then you want to move this around. So I wanna move the two by in the beginning because that's like the first stage. And then done is at the end and then here. Now I can see, hey, I bought the jewelry for my sister, Emily. The knife has shipped, you know, and then once I have it and I've given it to him, I can move it to done. And now I have two different views. Now let's say I wanna have a calendar view. I wanna see when I need to actually give people these gifts. I can add another one called calendar press done and now you can see, okay, I'm giving the jewelry gift to my sister and the knife on the eighth. But if you want to add a little extra, you can add a little dot and show other properties. Sorry, I'm going a little fast here. You dot, 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 click that. Properties says zero shown. Click that and now you can put the person and the occasion. So this doesn't make sense. This needs to be changed to birthday. <laughs> but now you can see, oh, my jewelry I need to give to Emily on her birthday. Knife that goes to Jimmy on his birthday. Same thing with the board. You could click the dot, 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 go to properties and then show the occasion or you can just show the person. Um, it's kind of a lot. There's a lot shown here. Like I don't need to see the date. So we'll hide that and we don't really need to see, let's just say I wanna see that. And then bam, you can see kind of like where things are at and play around with it so you have you know a nice table view you can even add an address pr property just think of anything that could be associated with a gift the other cool thing is you can actually put some web bookmarks in here and add a hyperlink to where the site is that you bought your jewelry so you could just copy and paste notes i like to put like the shipping information because i always forget oh crap you know like wh where's my receipt i throw the receipt in there other personal stuff you can add an address, whatever, but now you have three different views for your gift database. And then you can start to see, okay, let's filter out what have I got for my sister for the last couple of years? You know, how much am I averaging on my gifts? Am I doing too much? Am I doing too little? You know, see the stage. You won't forget you have a calendar. I really enjoy having the gift tracker. Now, I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of how Notion works, how we can use it to track gifts. Now, I sell a bunch of templates on Gumroad, so you don't have to go through and click all these things and, and follow along and pause the video every 10 seconds. So I will link all of them below. They're on Gumroad. It's super easy. You just get a link. I have a whole database to track my Notion templates because I got Notion templates for YouTube. I got them for gift tracking. I have a travel one. Like I am Notion heavy right now. Like it tracks everything. So um, check that out and I will see you guys next time.